Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And in today's video, I am going to be styling the 2023 fall fashion trends that I explained to you guys in my last video. As I explained there, these are trends that I have researched from fashion publications, the runways, social media, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, things that I've seen on the street, and beyond. So I loved the roundup of trends this year, and now I'm going to style outfits for them, which I am also so obsessed with. They turned out so cute. I hope you guys will enjoy them. As always, feel free to leave video requests in the comments below, and it means the world to me when you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So thank you guys for being here and supporting me, and let's get to these outfits. Okay, so the first trend that I talked about in that video was statement earrings, and I want to talk about that again here today, obviously. As you can see, I don't really have any on right now, but I'm going to grab my favorite everyday pair of hoops, or earrings I guess I should call them, and show you guys what they do to an outfit. Okay, these are the earrings that I live for. I wear them with literally everything. They're kind of like crescent fat moon shapes and they are definitely a statement earring i would say that these like bulky bold more statement earrings have replaced my everyday hoops and these have become my everyday hoop choice if you will but as i explained in the last video there's tons of different ways to wear this like statement earring so these obviously have this like crescent dome shape to them but you can also wear like the flat rectangular or square ones you can wear floral ones you can wear honestly anything but just kind of like a big chunky bold statement earring is so in and the bottega earrings as i mentioned in my last video are kind of the launch pad for this trend i would say these ones do remind me a little bit of the shape and i just ordered a pair of dupes off amazon of those bottega earrings because they're really expensive and they're always sold out but I love these. I literally wear them with everything. I feel like they make every outfit cuter. They elevate everything and it's just the simplest, easiest trend to add in to any outfit this season. So, love. Okay, the next trend that I want to talk about is off the shoulder tops. I've seen these everywhere, online shopping. All the retailers have them. All of the really cool, trendy brands all have them and I just love this. Um, I mentioned in my past video that my love for off the shoulder tops started at a very young age and it has stuck throughout. I think that they're sophisticated and sexy and super flattering and I love that they can be dressed up or dressed down. I love this one that's asymmetrical and this is from Princess Polly I believe. And then my denim here is from Abercrombie and then I tucked these boots or I tucked the denim into the boots, which is a look I've also been loving going into fall. I've seen this a ton on social media. Um, I've done this before in the past too, and it's a little bit like funky and quirky, and I feel like it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally do love it. And also, these boots, these are so stunning. They are this gorgeous kind of like creamy, tan, taupey color. I love them, and they are from Naked. And also today's sponsor is Naked. You guys know if you watch my channel how much I love them and their clothes. I've been wearing them for years and they are the it girl brand for Europe. They have the best staples and chic pieces and also are so good at keeping on top of the trends but in a very like tasteful and wearable way. So I love them. I have a discount code for them for you guys. I'll put that here on the screen. I'll also put it in the description box and I'll be sharing pieces from them throughout the video. I literally wear their stuff all the time. So check them out. Happy shopping and love this new edition of boots. I'm a total boot girl, especially in the fall and winter. You guys probably noticed with my first outfit too, the scarf attached to the neck trend is what I was rocking there and also here. So scarves in general are just a huge trend for this fall and I love that because we love to accessorize. I love a little neck accessory and I particularly have loved this trend of the scarves becoming one with the article of clothing. So actually being attached to the garment like this dress here. This is also from Naked and this is a great example of them 
really being on with the trends but this is a super like wearable tasteful piece as well it's so comfortable I am obsessed with the knit dresses at Naked I buy them year round and they make them fitting for each season I get an extra small on them because I like them to be like tighter and they always do have like some good stretch and give so this is an extra small it's from the Josephine HJ collection that recently came out if you guys don't know who that is she is so iconic she is one of my all-time favorite European fashion bloggers to follow she's OG she has the coolest style and she's just so fun to watch style and make beautiful art so this is from her collection and it definitely gives the vibes um, I love that the back is like open and then the scarf that's attached you can kind of like play with this how you want so I just think it's super fun and obviously a great transitional piece because this is a bit like for warmer weather but you can throw something on over top take it off when you get to the event or party or whatever it is and I just love this trend I think it's fun I'll also link the bra that I wear with things like this because normally I would never be able to wear something like this open back and even on the sides and stuff but I have this amazing sticky bra that I swear by so I'll also link that for you guys I tried a new hairstyle today and I think I like it it's it's like a little bit much maybe it feels like really big on top of my head and I didn't think about how many times I would be changing my top and like getting the neck hole over my hair so bear with me as it changes and also let me know what you guys think is this hair is this the vibe or is this not really the vibe I feel like a 90s prom look but I can't tell if I like that or not so anyways this next trend is something that I think is super fun and obviously with fashion everything is not literal and it is all to be interpreted by the person wearing it and styling it and whatnot. So we're calling this the no pants trend. Obviously I do have pants on but there's not much there. They're not much of a pant. These are actually my favorite little hot pant. These are from White Fox and I literally wear these all year round it's kind of like a pair of spandex shorts like they remind me of the shorts i used to wear when i played volleyball but they're ribbed they're way more they're not like athletic like that but they are similar in kind of look i guess there's not a ton there it kind of gives this no pants feel and i love this style with an oversized sweatshirt there's a famous kendall jenner look that's kind of the stem of this no pants style in my eyes where she's wearing tights and everything I'll put a picture up here but anyways I love the way that this one turned out I have this oversized sweater this is in a size medium and this is also from naked I have so many sweaters from them that I've had for years you guys still ask about some of them that are literally from like five years ago so they're really great quality and they stay in fashion like this is just a staple good piece I love stripes it adds like a little bit of texture and interest to a look and then I paired this look back with my suede boots um, the way that Kendall Jenner styled this with, with, was with like tights and pointed toe heels which looked super nice and super elongating the boots is doing a little bit more of like a chop I guess you could say but I just am such a boots girl that I had to go with the boots for this look if you know me you know I love texture so this next trend is just fluffy fuzzy texture and it can be on anything from the actual garments to the accessories like fluffy shoes or handbags all and everything being fluffy is welcome this fall fluffy and fuzzy and just textured which adds so much to a look it makes it seem a lot more fun in my opinion it gives it more interest and it's also just nice to feel and it's nice and cozy which is perfect for fall so this is also a sweater from naked I took this in a size large so it's a little bit more oversized but I could have definitely done like a medium even and it's just this really nice soft fabric it's this beautiful like creamy kind of warm toned cream color and it goes with everything it's perfect and then I paired it back with this kind of like caramel colored skirt this is from Princess Polly also do you guys say caramel or caramel like which one is right or they're both right but which one is weirder to say okay but anyways I just paired it back with this color caramel or caramel skirt and the boots that I have been wearing non-stop from naked I love all of these colors together it is a perfect little fall dream and then also to add to this look and make it a little bit more fluffy and textured is this bag this is from Tori Birch I got this last year 
in the winter and I don't wear this in the spring or summer at all so it is not the most practical bag but it's so perfect for fall and winter and I'm so excited to bring it back out so I love this trend it's like I'm a little teddy bear all right I just went over a texture trend now we're doing a color trend red is absolutely the it girl this season this was pretty much all over every single fashion publication that i read all over the runways i've seen it a ton on social media too i don't know if you guys follow tennis clayton has been really into tennis lately so inherently i have been into tennis lately and i do follow morgues who is taylor fritz girlfriend and she wore the most stunning red outfit and with her friend i think her name is maddie um they wore these stunning red outfits to the us open and i was obsessed with them they looked so iconic they looked so powerful and i'm just here for the red so it's totally having a moment i love red as an accent i mentioned in my previous video like shoes purses even a red lip or something just a pop of red is great I actually don't have a ton of true red clothing. I have more like burgundy or like a burnt orange kind of like brick red color. This is the most like powerful bright red thing I had. So I gave it a twirl or swirl, I don't know what I'm trying to say, a spin. I gave it a spin um, at styling. I feel like it was a little bit hard for me to style and I'm not sure how I feel about how it turned out but I'm leaning into the red and this made me realize I need more like true red pieces. I would love to get like a red satin skirt like a midi satin skirt in red i think that would be so fun to style but anyways i just went with this bold blazer this is norma kamali i think it's from revolve and then i'm wearing my celine belt that i love and then these boots are saint laurent i just got these and i'm so obsessed with them definitely a splurge i'll look for more affordable options for you guys as well and then the statement earrings i love what they're doing with this and then i am also wearing those little hot pants again the white fox ones it's kind of what the blazer do all the talking and then i also have a red purse it's from coach which is one of my favorite bags i've purchased in a long time i got that a few seasons ago and i wear it a ton just as that like pop of red and i thought for today's outfit why not just pile it on and make it all red or as much red as i could next i want to talk about the 80s business chic kind of vibe so as i mentioned before this is all like how you interpret it and how it works into your life it doesn't have to be like the most accurate perfect depiction so when i was styling for this outfit i was thinking kind of like that business chic 80s elements so like the shoulder pads the structure is there for the 80s this was like just the base layer actually of what i was going for but i really liked the way that it turned out and i think that it kind of works on its own so a trouser i didn't really have any trousers that were truer to the 80s so the cut of these isn't great for that but that's okay so this kind of like structure at the top and then tucked in cinched in at the waist and then i did a pointed toe pump this is an old top from the frankie shop um these are abercrombie trousers which i'm obsessed with and then these white pumps that i wear all the time are from naked and then i also have a few other accessories to add to it so originally i wanted to do like a boxy blazer with this because that definitely reminds me of the 80s but like i said i kind of liked the way the base layer turned out so you could go either way this is also from naked i have a ton of just like staple blazers from them great place to get blazers this is in a size 36 for reference and it's just a nice like boxy oversized kind of masculine blazer which gives that power suit feel definitely it reminds me of the 80s you can kind of like tuck the sleeves up a bit if you're more petite like me and you feel like you're getting swallowed a little bit and then i just have my sling glasses and my jackie o bag and i feel like this is a cool definitely like business appropriate outfit and the elements from the 80s business chic are definitely there the next trend is the peplum style tops or jackets or dresses i have this little one that i actually got for our recent trip to napa when we were wedding venue shopping i actually didn't get to wear this because i'm a very overly ambitious packer i overpack and i also think i'm gonna be doing like all this stuff all the time and then i don't do as much so i didn't get around to wearing this but i'm not a huge peplum girly in general so this is a bit out of my comfort zone i do think it's fun and especially when i was doing my research for the trends i was inspired by some of the things i saw that were a little bit more edgy peplums this one definitely feels more true to that like sweet classic style of what i associate with peplum but i'm here and i'm rocking it i'm trying and this is obviously giving a little bit more summer vibe right now i paired it back with this pair of 
of seven for all mankind denim that I think I've literally had since seventh grade my grandma bought them for me um, and then I have my ballet flats these are from Urban Outfitters I love them I'm turning into a huge ballet flat girly and I have a couple more accessories to make this feel a little bit more put together and a little bit more transitional heading into fall so where I live it is going to be warm for the next couple of weeks if not months but I know it's different for everyone and typically speaking fall fashion would be going into some warmer pieces. So this is another knit sweater from Naked. I got this in a size large as well but a medium or small honestly could have worked too. I just prefer to have them be more oversized I guess um, but I thought that this would be really cute like layered over as kind of just... A little added piece you could cross it and tie it up or just kind of like leave it like that it feels very chic to me I also have this bag that I love this is from Paris 64 it is definitely very summery feeling to me but because fall comes right after summer these transitional outfits are obviously going to have aspects of summery pieces in them so I think all of this paired together together gives a really nice transitional summer to fall outfit and we're rocking one of the hottest trends of the season with the peplum. This is one of my favorite outfits of this video actually. The trend is structured clothing which could go a bunch of different ways because obviously it could be in the sleeves, it could be in the bottoms. I mentioned the bell horseshoe barrel legged denim that is huge right now. I do actually have a pair of those. I just remembered could have gone with those but I ended up going with like a structured puff sleeve top and I love the way that this turned out this would honestly be cute with the barrel leg denim as well so a little bit of structure on top and bottom but anyways there's so many different ways you can go with this trend and I think it's super fun so this top is from Revolve I can't remember the brand off the top of my head it actually came with like a gold flower right here like a brooch is that what they're called why don't I know what to call anything today but I took it off and I like it actually a lot better without it just a little bit plainer and then this denim skirt is actually from Amazon and I'm obsessed with it it's got like the high scoop slit on the side and I think it's so fun to style for fall my Isabel Marant boots again and my Celine belt and then I'm gonna do a little zebra bag for a pop I don't really know what was right bag for this um I'm I have a hard time with bags you guys know I'm not inherently a bag girl but I'm trying so we're working on it and then my Celine glasses to match um, my little belt and I just love the way that this turned out it feels so fall to me okay this last trend I am actually not very prepared for this one if you guys watched my last video it was a tie it was a tie trend I actually don't have a tie and my fiance Clayton doesn't have one either I don't think to be completely honest our house is kind of in shambles still from when we moved a couple of months back and we're hopefully doing a remodel in the next couple of months so we're not really getting any more organized just because it's all about to be turned upside down anyways more of that on the vlog side of my channel if you guys are interested but long story short I didn't have a tie and this is obviously not a tie it's not even really that close at all but it felt better to me to like half-ass it than just completely abandon the trend I guess so use your imagination um, don't take it too literally and if you have an actual tie or if you want to style an actual tie even better but here we are with this little neck scarf it's kind of like tie anyways also in my past video I mentioned Jenna Lyons being part of my inspo for the tie and I was watching The Real Housewives of New York last night and she is definitely wearing a tie in her interview clip, so my queen. Anyways, this top is from Princess Polly and it's got this little attached neck scarf that I love and I thought this was the closest thing to an ode of a tie, you know, it's just something long and skinny and accessorizing the neck. So I love anything that's kind of like this, hopefully including the tie, we'll see what it's like when and if I actually purchase one and how I style it. But I think that it's just a really cool, fun trend and lots of different ways to be interpreted. And I also thought why not show you guys just like one more cute outfit in this video. So we have this top that I love in this really pretty gray color. I wish it came in more colors too because gray is typically not my favorite color but I do think that this top is really pretty. And then I paired it with my favorite satin skirt from Abercrombie I wear this all the time this in red is like what I want so maybe Abercrombie will see this and they'll create a red one um and then because the top was gray I actually paired it back with this pair of Dolce Vita ballerina flats that 
are silver and I'm obsessed with them they kind of have like a little square toe and they have the ankle strap I think that they're so cute and so fun I am gonna add a few more accessories my favorite vintage Prada bag she's really seen seen a lot she's she's pretty beat up but I love her and then just this pair of glasses I think these are from Chimmy and we're good to go I feel like this is a perfect like casual fall outfit but it's still fashionable and fun so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I can't wait to do more fall fashion videos coming up. I'm so excited to style for the fall season and I appreciate all of you so much for being here. So I will see you next time.